John G. Trice, a.k.a. Jack, was born on May 12, 1902 in Harem, Ohio and was the son of Green and Anna Trice. While growing up, he became very active in sports and became a top athlete at East Technical High School in Cleveland, Ohio. Jack married Cora May Starlin in July of 1922, the summer before moving to Ames, Iowa, where Jack majored in animal husbandry at Iowa State College. Jack was the first African-American athlete at Iowa State and was well respected by his teammates and coaching staff. He was an essential part of the Iowa State football team. On October 5, 1923, the Iowa State team traveled to Minneapolis, Minnesota for a game the following day. On this night, Jack wrote a note to himself at the Curtis Hotel which reads, My thoughts just before the first real college game of my life. The honor of my race, family, and self is at stake. Everyone is expecting me to do big things. I will. My whole body and soul are to be thrown recklessly about the field tomorrow. Every time the ball is snapped, I will be trying to do more than my part. On all defensive plays, I must break through the opponent's line and stop the play in their territory. Beware of mass interference. Fight low with your eyes open and toward the play. Watch out for crossbucks and reverse end runs. Be on your toes every minute if you expect to make it good. Jack. This note was found folded in Jack's coat pocket. Iowa State canceled all classes on October 9, 1923. To help Jack's wife and mother with funeral costs, the students of Iowa State raised $4,000 by placing milk jugs on the building steps around campus. Jack's body was returned back to Ohio, where he was buried next to his father. On October 16, a funeral service was held on Central Campus next to the Campanile, where Jack's wife, his mother, and 4,000 students, faculty, and staff were in attendance. His teammates carried his casket and placed a blanket over top with school colors, cardinal and gold. For the rest of the 1923 season, the football team wore black armbands to honor Jack. At the end of the season, a varsity letter was awarded to Jack, and Coach Williman sent it to Jack's mother. A final tribute to Jack was a bronze plaque embossed with the words from his letter written at the Curtis Hotel that was made to be hung in the state gym. Over time, Jack's story was lost, until 1973 when this plaque was found behind the bleachers in the state gym. Jack's story was quickly revived. The new football stadium began construction, and the Iowa State students started a petition for the stadium to be named after Jack Trice. After years of fighting to honor Jack's memory, the students raised over $22,000 and a statue of Jack Trice was revealed on May 7, 1988. Lastly, on August 30, 1997, the students of Iowa State finally achieved their goal and Cyclone Stadium was renamed Jack Trice Stadium. Jack's story will forever live on at Iowa State University.